Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Krim. I'm a licensed psychologist and a certified relaxer and yoga trainer. I come to you each month with a newsletter video for The Healer's Life. It's a newsletter I write for myself, but also for my organization, Moonstone Center. Moonstone Center is a place where we provide uh, integrated holistic treatment for mental health treatment. We have uh, yoga therapy and acupuncture along with psychotherapy, psychodynamic psychotherapy. We also produce continuing education events and networking events and really attend uh, to the professional's uh, life and growth and nurture. One of the reasons I wanted to video outside today is because it's spring and we're moving from spring and eventually into summer. And I think it's important for us to take care of ourselves, not only in uh, times of being quiet and meditating or doing yoga, which I talk about often, um, but also being outside and experiencing nature. We're increasingly finding studies that talk about us needing more vitamin D, that our society has become so indoor and that we forget to, we put so much sunscreen on that we, we forget to just take in the natural sunshine. I think one of the things that we do in our society is go to extremes. I remember early in my career as a therapist, even while I was a student, they asked us to define what health was. And my one word definition was balance. And I think finding balance is really, really key to our whole health. So I wanted to invite you to come outside. I am blessed to get to live near the ocean and be by the ocean to hear its beautiful sound. You can hear it probably in the background. You can see its waves coming in and out. But even if you live in an area that doesn't have an ocean, or a lake, or a stream, or a mountain, just being outdoors where you can feel the sunshine, see the weather change, see the grass grow. They talk about gardening, how important that is. Be outdoors and get into nature. It's healing for us. So I want to invite you to do that. There's an inner wisdom that can come from our living this way. And that's the other reason I wanted to mention about the, the workshop we've got coming up. Someone asked the other day, why is it that you are so uh, into this clinical intuition that you're promoting on May 18th? And I think one of the things that, that's so key in that is it really calls us to trust our inner wisdom. And that those of us who are healers, who are in the healthcare profession, often are called into it <clears throat> because of something from internally that drove us to that. And you can look at it all different ways of how we got there. But it's that inner wisdom of listening to that process and how that changes over time and over the seasons. So part of the workshop is also inviting you to really attune and listen to your voice and understanding the neurobiology of what it is to listen to that voice and how that voice works through our right brain processes and how they interface with our left brain processes. It's not that the cognitive behavioral interventions aren't important. It's that we need to learn how to, to utilize them and attend to them and apply to them from a, a place of wisdom and insight and what is relevant to the client we're working with. And I would also add what's relevant to who you are as a clinician and as a therapist and as a healthcare provider. I want to leave you today and just say enjoy today. If you can get outside, take, take in the weather, even if it's raining, because spring gives us rain and snow still some, in some parts of the country. Go outside and breathe in and breathe out. Take care of yourself. And have a good day.